Hello, everybody, and welcome to the demo for Minds Beneath Us. Little interesting indie game uh, set in a futuristic Asian city, as the description in Steam says, where an AI controls everything. I don't know if it's the city, the populace, or you particularly, but it seems to be a click and point adventure kind of thing, just side scrolling. Looks kind of interesting. Um, obviously, we see there is no save and load function yet, so got 30 to 60 minutes to finish a game and not die in the process. So what we got? Right now, it seems broken because I got nothing but a black screen. Hello? Okay. Confirm movements, commands. A and D, shift to run. What are you banging on the door for? Why am I wearing a collar? Okay, confirm movements. A read. I guess I am... One pay? And that's the area. I am Ivan Zhang. Ivan Zhang, 54 years old male. Uh, the Wayne Pang Area 11. Symptoms PCS ISS 2 treatment ECC. I have no idea what that means. I do anything else. Whoa, wait a minute. What was that? Rolling screen. Oh, cool. I can click on it and get information about the screen. Uh, maker, United Electronics. Model, A1 generation. Power switch for rolling screen description. An old school lever switch. What? Okay. Uh, nope. How do I get out? E to get out. Okay. What do you think over here? I can turn stuff off. I don't want to yet. Oh, hey. So was there any response? I have no idea what you're talking about. You got something behind your neck, though. And that monitor is floating. And there's a box of tissues. I always need tissues in a hospital. Um... I, I don't think so. Hmm, weren't you going to get somebody? I'm gonna wait for a while. No one's come to check in, check up on us. The door's locked, so we can't get out either. Okay. So I was banging on the door. I forgot. For whatever reason, we're in a room that's locked and we don't know why. Okay. Um. Are, uh. Why are we locked in? That's what I want to know. I woke up here after the accident we had. What kind of accident? I have no idea what went down, and it hurts everywhere okay when i woke up but when i woke up you were already up for a while was i are you sure me oh that was timed who else only the boss of the biggest smuggling outfit in the what i'm a smuggler why am i in a hospital this kid knows no this kid knows how to talk. You're quite the smooth talker. Of course! Thumbs up. It's important a skill to have when working with you. Albert. So, what are we going to do? Do you think we were arrested? His voice is getting stiff. He's not that good at hiding his nervousness. What are you so anxious about? 
Anxious, a am I? That stutter, yes you are. Maybe a little. I'm only confused as to what is going on. All I, bleh. all I know is that I woke up hurting all over. Okay. Well, if we got in a car accident, that makes sense. But was it really a car accident? Shite. Still can't move my legs. He's starting to panic. Uh, calm down. Let's get oriented. Hmm. Got it. Sorry, I can't take care of myself. It's fine. It's fine. I'm sorry. I can take care of myself. Oops. I just want to get to the bottom of this as soon as possible. Me too, kid. What do you think? Do you think we've been arrested? Hmm, I still don't understand why you think that. Uh, because the cops were literally on our tail? What's wrong? You've been kind of out of it. I mean, I am 54 years old. Memory gets hazy after a while. Is it because of the crash? Did you get a concussion? Eh, you're saying I have brain problems? Hey, I'm just looking out for you. Uh, I don't know there, kid. I don't know there, Albert. No need to be so high strung. I can't I can't remember what happened in between either. My memory is also pretty blurry. Uh, how much do you recall? A little bit, but it's kind of a blur. What about you? Um I need some clues to help me piece things together. Clues? Let me think. We met up with Chang at the docks at 4 a.m. Early. He said he had a package for us that he smuggled bleh, that he smuggled out of Morningstar Labs. Morningstar. Kinda ominous. Tell me, was there a big pentagram painted in blood over the door? Uh, what was in the package? It was some kind of liquid weapon. That's all he wanted to reveal. Uh, if he wanted to buy, we had to meet him face to face. But I should have asked... But I should have been asking that question. Uh, you were the one who verified the contents, and I was only responsible for moving the goods. You never told us anything about it. I don't think they cheated us, though. After all, my brother Alex was the one who introduced us. Otherwise, this trade would never have happened. What do you think? I think I need to get out of the smuggling gig. Liquid weapon? Liquid weapon! Yes, no. Uh... So in the end, it was a successful transaction. Chang gave us the goods. We gave him the money. We all went to the stripper bar. It was a great old time. I did all the appropriate preparations to secure the package, and off we and we were off. Uh, but a couple minutes after we pulled away, things started going awry. The cops just started shooting at us. Never a good thing. You sure they were cops? There were no sirens, no blockades, not even a fucking warning. I fired back, but my right arm got hit. Alex wanted to jam their comms. But he could only receive strange noise channels. So you were already jammed. That was when you, I... Shit, that's where my memory blacks out. I threw off the cops by making them think we went in, went on the highway. I managed to throw them off our tail. Yeah, yeah. Ha, that was great. We got them to chase the wrong car. And then we were safe again. We weren't being followed and our injuries weren't severe. We never checked the car, so I didn't know. They hit the gas tank? Because of that... Because then we suddenly lost control of the engine and steering wheel. 
And then bang, we hit a pillar. Oof. Hope you're wearing the seatbelt, my dude. After that, we woke up here. Okay. It's a nice view, though. It's floaty things. <laughs> a young stud and an old geezer, left with nothing to do but stare at each other. You can call yourself a young stud all you want, but, I mean, if you lost control of the vehicle running to the pillar, uh, I don't know about the stud part. But I will take the geezer. 54, yeah. This kid is just shooting his mouth off. Ah, uh, we'll let him talk. Well, that's all I remember about it. Wait, what happened to your brother, Alex? Huh? Didn't you just tell me he was in another ward? I did. Oh, wait. Okay. I think it was saying on that screen. Right, 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 right. I can't quite see from what is... See what's on it, but it... It's what you told me. Wow, I've struggled reading through that. Uh, that's why I thought the three of us were already arrested. Were they just waiting for us to heal so they can interrogate us? That should be a question mark. Even, even my grammar is not that bad. The hospital database is connected to the government, so they probably knew about our identities, even if they weren't notified. Okay. Uh, the cops might not have been the ones who were chasing. That's possible. They never showed our faces, so they never, so they could only ID the car. If we were brought in as just people from a traffic ac traffic accident, it's very possible that they haven't been arrested. That we haven't been arrested. I'm butchering everything. All right. Okay, I might be been too much of a pessimist. Got that right, Albert. But it's better to be careful, right? Right. He's being a lot more careful than usual. He's still hung up on something. We still have one important thing we need to do, regardless of the arrest situation. Of the arrest situation. We need to leave this damn ward. We've been awake for half an hour. No doctors or nurse have come to check in on us. I don't know what this means, but I don't think we should just sit and wait. He's on edge, but he doesn't even realize it. I get it. He's not worried about himself. He's worried about his brother. Are you worried about Alex? A bit. I just want to see him to make sure he's okay. Why are you looking right at me? Hold up. Why are you looking right at me? Ivan. 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 That's not creepy at all. Uh, no one responded after you knocked on the door, so I don't think there's anyone out there at the moment. That's probably a good thing. At least we don't get mobbed, interrogated the moment the door opens. So... What should we do now? I don't know, but Ivan is starting to creep the hell out of me. We should start with the lock. Okay. Okay, let's start with the locked door. Oh, you're right. Good call. Of course that was a good call. Hospital lock shouldn't be too difficult to work with. Okay. This should be a piece of cake. Confirm investigation command. Okay. Left click on the locked door to investigate it. Doop -de -doop -de -doop. Okay, where did Alex... Where is his brother again? Wait a minute. This tells me... I don't have a date even. It doesn't tell me where he is. It just says... Oh... Oh, so I just li lied to Albert. Ooh. Or wait, what? Was that there before? I really wasn't paying attention because it's like, oh, well, this is me right here. I didn't realize these two were. I didn't realize Albert was in the room with me. Oops. 
Uh, yeah, your brother's okay. Nope, don't know what you're talking about. All right. Uh, click the door. Investigate it. Ah, that. Uh, maker, bloop, restricted. U404 military grade alloy, unbreakable, opens only from the outside. Status locked. Military grade alloy. And a hospital. Holy crap. Exactly. <laughs> what? Military grade alloy? That's what I was saying. Why would a hospital need something like this? <laughs> I can't break this. Uh, I'm, I'd am i maybe need an electric drill. Okay. Medical box. Oh, wait. RD3 radioactive blocking. Stores radioactive medication, not for regular war. What do we need freaking? Oh, wait, these vials. Model restricted EO4 tube filled with an unknown blue liquid. Okay. Uh, restricted E2-5 to field. Okay. Well, this game's got... Oh, wait. Thingy. I'm sorry. There's so many things. So many shiny things to click on. Uh, okay. Projector, remote control, common in the hospitals, currently showing hospital services. Can I see the hospital services? Okay. I can't click that. There is the power thing. Which I'm not sure... Is it going to the projector? I think it might be just going to the projector. Uh, isoprophic alcohol pump bottle. Migrant brand disinfected. Mirage brand. Mirage? Mirage brand disinfected alcohol. Common site in hospitals in the north. Why in the north? No, no. Uh, okay, so I can't do it. Box not good. We gotta think of something else. Why? Um, it's military lock. I don't. Why would he? Did you bring an electric drill? Why would he have an electric drill? He's in a gurney. In a hospital gown. With an IV bag of unknown white substance going through him. It's military lock. But how? Why would this local hospital use military locks? I mean, if you got the money, you know, just pony it up. I know where the cable goes, I think. No, that's the that's the IV holder bag. Never mind. Stand. Is that why my hospital donations are going? No wonder they always do charity drives. Tell me about it. I don't get it. Ah, uh, okay. At least we know it won't work. We were left with two options, look for a working pass that someone might have left behind, or just guess the password from the control panel. I didn't see a control panel. Uh-huh, the one back here. Is that that floaty thing? It should control most electronics in the room. The IV drip, air conditioning, and of course, even the door. That being said, I don't think we're going to get anywhere just by guessing. I think you're right. I can't accept. I can't only accept so many incorrect. Uh, oh, that. Try that again. It can only accept so many incorrect logins. We've messed this up, and there might, and there might be no options left. All right. Hmm. You try looking at some of the sticky notes, or something similar. I spent a lot of time in old hospitals like this while taking care of Alex. Taking care of Alex? I don't know. Didn't know about this. He rarely speaks about his family. I'm not going to press it. The nurse, the nurses there would always write the password in the control somewhere in case they forgot. To the control somewhere in case they forgot. I know how words. I know words. It's worth a shot. Otherwise, we're just going to be stuck here. Got that right, Albert. All right. So. I wanted to, That's the control panel. Okay. A little, little thingy up there. What you doing, little thingy? All right. Looking for sticky notes. I saw... A whole bunch of notes. What's this? Uh... 
Don't forget the password. Here's a hint. Serial number of the implant rejection meds. Implant rejection? What? Oh, wait, no. Albert has that thing behind his neck. Okay. Unlocked path. Um, uh, lightly damaged and some words, uh, they took Albert away again. I, under the bandages, they, blue, no red, won't die. They took Albert away again. Under the bad bandages, they, something. This handwriting looks like mine. Oh, I can't remember writing this. What's on earth? I think I have, like, amne uh, not amnesia, what is it? Alzheimer's. 54 years old, yeah, possible. Um, bloody damage and some words missing. Memory will confused. Pretend to sleep. Don't forget, under the bed, keep note. Uh, time isn't moving, it's always night. Too much time has passed, not a hospital. Albert left. But Albert's on the bed. Okay. So something's going on with this. The serial number of the... Oops, wrong one. Of the rejection medicine. And something under the bed. What was that? What is that? Uh, I found something. Why am I? What? I'm broken. I'm broken. Oh, they actually left something. I didn't want to get my hopes up, but that's great news. Can we get the door open now? Maybe if one of us has a medical degree. How is anyone supposed to know the serial number? No, I only got a hint. A hint? Password hint. Like a birthday, pet's name, or mom's, mother's min maiden name. Wow, I really wanted to say middle name. Okay, that's fair. There won't... They wouldn't want patients finding the password right there. What's the hint? Maybe I could figure it out. If I say it was a serial number of a jug that relieves implant rejections, he's not going to know that. Um... I'll ask a serial number to, to a drug that relieves implant rejections. What the hell? Huh. I think Alex might have taken something like that. I wouldn't know the serial number, though. There's a couple bottles of that similar than the ones he had. You take a look. Other than that, I got nothing. So, he said, under the bandages, I, I want to look. That was all the audio. I have scars on both of my arms. I just realized this. Um, you know what? We're, we'll try it. Oh, no. I click these now. There we go. Okay. Uh, redu oh. Reduces implant rejection soothes pains. Powerful, but only effective for a short period of time. Okay, that's the first good one. Let's check the other ones, though. Uh, a muscle relaxer that lowers blood pressure, not recommended for implant users, so nope. Increases sensitivity of all five senses. Eh. Um. Lucid dream creates confusion in patients using SR devices, rendering them unable to differentiate simulation and reality used in painless surgeries. Eases coughing, congestion, and nasal infections. Right, Paul. Okay. So this is the right one. Y5YC. All right. Yes, I, I wish to use it. Oh, I still walk forward. Hello, welcome to the ward management system. Well, hi. To use the machine, please enter the password for assistance as a nearby staff. Enter password. Start typing. Please begin. Y, five, Y, C. Verifying. 
Access approved. Been nice of us. Access granted. Oh, no way. Way, Albert, way. You're a genius. I'm 54 years old. Now we can get out. Select a function. Access control, medical records, other. Excuse me a minute, guys, sneeze. No, I don't. Medical records. What the fuck? Hi! MBU, what on earth are you doing? Hello, Calibrator. Who are you? What are you talking about? It's displaying on your system interface. I'm the supervisor of this mission. Oh, this is getting so... Wait. Am, am, am I an AI controlling Ivan instead of like a player controlling Ivan? It's not one of those scenarios like, oh, yes, I'm a player and don't realize, oh, I'm, I'm so confused already. All right, I'm the supervisor for this mission. What mission? Bring your body here. No, I'm good. Wrong button. No, I, I want to. Oh, wait, hello. Description, mail, 20 to 30s. Status, modifications complete. Organs replaced. Description, registered test subject under section 12. Injector installed, injected by serial number enabled. Injector. What organs were replaced? He's still breathing. You deviated from your assignment. Yes. We still haven't received the information we need. What are you doing? Clicking stuff? I mean, if there was a bomb, I'd click on that. This man. This place. Where is this? You know what? What assignment? Beta 3, how is he doing? It's pretty clear that the MBU is exhibiting memory displacement. Am I just a freaking machine? What's his classification? It's... Hello. It's an assault TA-7 silencer. I need answers. All the assault MBUs have been experiencing the same issue. And the reason? Their pods were the first to be downgraded because they were only designed for short-term activation activities. Their intelligence and memory were capped at a certain level so that we... So what you're saying is, Section 13 gave us broken goods. We didn't have a lot to choose from. This was the only few function, functional MBUs they had. Even since the owls found us. Ever since those owls found us. So what are the owls? So right now, this MBU doesn't understand anything. No. I... It can perform simple locomotion and verbal command. Communications. Otherwise, you're right. It can't do much. Hey. I'm right here. You're hurting my cybernetic feelings. I've heard enough. If you're not satisfied, I can... I said it's enough. I said it's enough! Oh, okay. Understood. Bye, Augmenter. One more thing. I saw experimental devices I need inside the simulation room. Why did you... Wait, did I misread that? I think I misread that. I think it was I did not need in the room. Okay. Where? Those injectors in the cabinet, your people left them there, right? Yes. Any reason why they're there? Those were left behind from their previous operation. 
You left items in the simulation room. <laughs> you in trouble. I can deal with it right now if no need, you're dismissed. Bye, Augmenter. Now that you're aware of your defects, MBU, I'll get straight to the point. We place Albert and Alex to Sai in this simulation room, and they've been here for the past few days. In the process, they were modified several times, including procedures that allowed you to take control of Ivan Zhang. Zahang? I literally don't know how to pronounce these last names. Modified how? These experiments and operations are necessary. To what? Necessary to curb and control your abilities. My abilities? What abilities are we talking about? You're also unable to choose your target from control. You are also unable to choose your target from control. Okay, I did read that right. MBUs can only control those who are modified. We decide who you can control. You're just a mind without a body. This is something you need to understand. Oh no, I, I seem to be doing pretty good. He's 54 years old, but he's still pretty spry. Me? But I can see his thoughts. Those are just echoes of a subconscious. Pay no mind. Pay no heed. As long as you're in control, it won't pose any problem. I think it might. Your assignment is to control this man and use him to draw out the information we need. From your conversation, I've already confirmed that we were once in possession of our key assets. You're talking about the liquid weapon? Oh, now I need to know the coordinates from where it's hidden. Hmm. I will bring Albert back to you, and you will get me the coordinates. Do you understand? Yeah. Yeah. I'm telling the body right now to flip you off, but he's not cooperating. I hope you understand. Yes, I understand. Very good. You did good. You did very good. I'll be borrowing that. What'd you do? I'm showing you Albert Tass's data here. Okay, it's alert, alert, alert. As you can see, 80% of his... Wow. 80% of his organs suffered severe fatal... Severe failure after the incident. He's alive purely due to Section 13's regenerative technology. Okay. In short, it took some effects... Effort for us to keep him alive. I will not let that effort go to waste. I mean, you know, you could keep him alive out of the goodness of if... Do you have a heart? I mean, you look human, but I see wires coming out of your backs and into your heads. Just ask him. I have two options. You, I have two options to choose from. Okay. One, let you do your work and obtain the information I need. Albert Tess lives and returns to society with Ivan Yen. I'm not even going to try and pronounce their last names anymore. Where they may become our pawns against again at any time. Two, I dismantle Albert's mind and take the information I need. Why did you do it in the first place? That means you will die and I will lose a potential pawn. Oh. I still have exhortations for you, even if you are defective. Listen, just give me the coordinates. I don't care how you do it. <laughs> I'm going to put a bomb in his lap. I will be observing you. If anything goes wrong, I will end this assignment. Okay. I'm, I'm still doing the middle finger to you, Calibrator. Uh, what counts as something going wrong? If the target leaves or if it becomes overly emotional. Okay. I can also run out of patience. When you're ready, sit here and I'll wake up Albert. Begin. Na, 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 na. 
while he's unconscious, I will look around through you, Calibrator. And I, I can't access. I kind of want to flip that switch. You know what? Just because I can't, I'm going to go flip that switch. I was ignoring it in the first place, but uh, turn off. What I do? Just turn off the monitor. Literally all it does is turn off the monitor. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Read. Ah, yes. I think I may want to... If I'm going to complete my mission, I may want to turn that off. Because it's right there next to where he can see. If he sees his brother's dead, I mean, I'm going to fail the mission immediately. Hey, I'm sitting down. You happy now? Uh, I... I passed out? Yeah, you just suddenly passed out. Am I still suffering damage from the accident? Suffering damage. That's a very, um... Robotic thing to say there, dear Albert. Shit, my head hurts. Mine too. I feel cold all over too. What the hell? Y you may have been dead for a little bit. Uh, You don't seem to have fully recovered yet. Yeah, that seems about right. At least I'm conscious. My memories are a mess. I can't remember anything clearly. Ask me anything. Uh... Where do we stash the package? Um, it's probably not a good time to ask about that. His eyes wandered. I've seen that expression before. He's feeling guilty. But why? He's lost the package. He... It's not so much... Mmm... I'll ask another. Sure. How did you hide the package? That's... Like we always do. Dodging the question? No. What's there to dodge? I'm just surprised that you were asking about it. I'm telling you, but it's it's how we've been doing it the whole time. Right? After receiving the goods, we usually send it by drone to the safe location. The flight paths are pre-programmed to minimize detection wait a minute okay I don't think there's anything seriously wrong with my head but since we're on the subject I have a question you once told Alex a story when you were drunk it was about how you sold information to the cops just to get one of our guys out of jail it's not something to boast about I should drink less is it true can something like that be arranged? It can as long as you give them some... If you have something to give them. The key is granting them small favors every now and then keep them in your pocket. Once you have a connection, everything can be arranged. Can the cops really negotiate a deal like that? Information, ex information in exchange for our freedom. Of course. I see. It's good to know. Good to know. Why is that good to know, Albert? Oh, why is it be good to know? Why are you asking this? Why would it be good to know? N nothing Albert, you better start explaining. I may be 52 years old, but I will still backside you. I'm just curious. Hmm. It's possible only with the right connections. Ah, is that so? Then wouldn't it be possible even would it be possible even without the right connections? Have you ever heard of someone succeeding without them? Without connections, you're just turning yourself in. Wait, this kid. What are you trying to say? Nothing, nothing. Sorry, I'm just going on a tangent. No, you weren't, Albert. Oh right, the door. Wait, so you cracked the password, right? 
Can we get the door open now? Um, we can't. What? Why? It seems to be malfunctioning. No, they locked the controls to the door. Do you know what this means? It means they really don't want us to leave. Well, yeah, that's kind of the point. Someone locked us in and made sure there's no way we could get out. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense, right? The cops may the cops may want to make sure we stay put. This also means that we've already been arrested for being watched. They locked the door, disabled the password. It's the only explanation I got. What do you think? Hmm. <laughs> Maybe they don't want patients to leave on their own. You're right. I'm, I'm going to I laugh because I mis misread this. And I thought it said something about maybe they just don't want any more patients, but okay, I'm good. Uh, maybe they just don't want patients to leave on their own. You think they do all this to stop us from wandering out of, out of our room? Yes. I'm not convinced. This seems excessive. The nurse wouldn't be able to open the door with her own password. The staff, I, the staff use ID cards to open the doors. The, you're right, but okay, maybe I'm just getting spooked over nothing. We need more information. A lot of time has passed since we woke up. If we want to, if we were wanted men, the staff would have shown up. Either way, either that or the police. No one has appeared yet. I am butchering these so badly it's just like one or two words this might be our lucky day we're just two citizens staying in the hospital due to our accident in that case i'm only worried about alex now i wonder how he's doing on his own i'm not sure if that monitor can show his status since the coast is clear what do we do now uh I need to think about how we're going to deal with the goods. You can tell me where you stash the goods now. No, you know what? If I ask him directly, he's going to get more suspicious. So I need to figure out how to deal with the goods. The goods? Ah, you mean the package we picked up. If that's the case, you'd want to know where it is, right? He's resisting. Quit resisting! Yeah, I need to know. Nothing. I just don't think we should be talking about it right now. Listen, we're in a room that's locked. I don't see any mics or cameras. Let's fix the package, man. Why don't you tell me what it is first? What do you want to know? Oh, uh, why don't you tell me what it is first? What do you want to know? Be because I'm curious. That's to be expected, right? We're all in the hospital because of that package. Of course I want to know what it is. And what it's worth. Oh. I think I get the idea here, Albert, of what you're doing. I get it. He wants to know its value. And he doesn't want to tell me the location. This little rascal. He wants to trade the package for his freedom. He still doesn't think we're safe. I don't think so much he wants to trade the package for his freedom. I think he wants to trade the package for money for his brother. Because he was saying that his brother was in the hospital, which I didn't push. But he definitely indicated that they were in the hospital a lot of the times. So, maybe. Uh... Do you plan on negotiating with the cops on your own? Don't you think we're safe now? Yeah, confront him with the negotiation. That's the plan. So what? You're just going to abandon me? 
I'm the one worried that you'll abandon me. This is my only bargaining chip. Oh, what if you fail to make a deal? What if you can only save, save yourself? Listen, I may be a heartless machine, but I got a little bit of emotion. So you're only looking out for yourself? No, I don't care what happens to me. They could lock me up right now and I wouldn't care. Brother, called it. I just, he's worried about his brother. He's always been like that. I just want to keep Alex safe. Even in the worst case scenario, I want him to be free. He can't be left with a criminal record. Oh, Albert's such a good big brother. You know that better than anyone else. If it happens, no one's going to hire him. The algorithm will just chew him up and spit him right out. He's not like us. He can't do this for the rest of his life. He needs to have his own life and raise his own family. 16, man. He... Don't say it. He was destined for a different life. He's, he's not dead yet. The board says he's dead. However, the calibrator says he's not. He'd have better opportunities. I totally misread one or didn't read a part. Sorry. A better proper life. Proper. Yeah, proper. Uh, I can save you. Trust me. I told you already, I have to save my brother. Ooh. Oh no, don't put me in the corner like this. <sighs> I now have to tell him his brother is dead or tell him I'm the only one that can save you. Uh. Wait, am I misreading this and the whole chart was for Albert, not Alex. Did I totally blank out on that? Okay, I may have blanked out all on that. Either way, see how I don't, I can read. I probably butchered this entire thing, but he's dead. I'm sorry. I, what? You lied to me. You knew from the beginning. Yeah. He's dead. Alex is really dead. I... Uh-oh. What? Calibrator! You're button in! What are you doing? Deliberate sabotage? No, I'm... <laughs> I'm trying to work here. Why would you tell him that? You're defective. I should have known this would have happened. But this series of events was... Not what I expected. I just have to get what I need by force. Hey, I'm not done yet. Turn him back on. Before I dismantle his mind, his body might still be of use. Uh oh Check the top of the cabinet for a blue injector. I need its serial number. I will inject it into Albert's body. Uh-oh. What's inside the syringe? That's none of your business. I'm making it my business. No, I'm not going to. I'm going to go talk to Albert. I'm not going to do it. Hey, I'm going to talk again. I can't find it. It's a blue one on top of the cabinet next to the door. I, I didn't see it. Hurry up. I'm just going to keep telling him I can't see it. I can't find it. You. Never mind. I just ran to check myself. I shouldn't have any expectations. 
There we go. Start the injection. Dang it! Uh, hi, Albert. It's done. Retreat to the door. The test will now begin. No, nope, I'm gonna sit right here. Hey, Albert. Hey, Albert. Hey, Albert. Albert. Ah, uh, fine. I'm just gonna walk. We're just gonna walk. Boop, 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 boop. Are you ready? Ah, sure, I'm ready. Very good. Whoa, Albert! Okay. Test failed. We will try this until you succeed. What happened, Albert? He's now extremely aggressive. You must take him down. You gonna make me kill Albert? Dude, you put all this time and resources to keeping him alive. Now you're gonna make me kill him? That's all you need to know. We will do this test until that. We will do this test over and over until you succeed. Let's try that again. All right, get your bitch pay again. All right, come on, Albert. Sorry, bub. Oh. Wow, not bad for a 54 year old buddy. Good. That's the kind of reaction speed I expect from Assault Class MBU. Efficient. Efficiency. You're much more useful in situations that require brute force. I yeah, sorry, Ivan. Check on Albert's situation. And come here and report to me. Al Albert? Oh, no. He's dead. Oh, no. Albert. How could I have? Why did I? Oh, no. Albert. You didn't see that. You bastard. So? Oh, he's not dead. No, he's alive. Stop making things up, but it's fun. I have eyes on everything. Do you now? Then why are you making me investigate it? Because I can. Is there a problem? No. Absolutely not. Wait. Do you notice any anomalies? Why did I do that? I have to follow orders, so I... Ivan's newer impulses are very turbulent. Adults that undergo the procedure tend to be more unstable. I should have taken better care of him. Oh, I told him that I would take take them under my Hmm. I'm seeing spikes in anxiety and depression. My hands. Albert's bones cracking. So, is Ivan still resisting? Yeah, keep going, Ivan. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you. Go, Ivan. Go, Ivan. He wants to kill you. <laughs> Stupid it, Ivan. Come on, let's get him. Hmm. Looks like I didn't need to ask. At this point, he's going to fry his own brain. No, Albert. Come on, we got to get up. I I'll pilot the body. You just tell me what to do. We'll beat the crap out of him. This is fascinating data for research in psychic dismantling. It's done. What a nuisance. No, Albert. No, not like, yes, come on, Ivan. I'm not Albert. Ivan, let's go. Come on, Ivan. I, I'll never, I'll never forgive you. You piece of shit. I will remember you. I will remember you no matter how many times you wipe my memory. I'll remember your disgusting face. How can you see it? I'll remember everything you made me do. Everything. I'll remember how you owe me your life. Just you wait. I'll... 
Damn, Ivan. Whew, I wish I was, I'm that. I am that at 54 years old. That much willpower, that much ferocity, regardless of the situation. That is what I want to be in age 54. Who? His resistance was stronger than I expected. I have to admit, I often underestimate these humans. So you're not human. Got it. Cleared out of the way. But we're done here. Uh oh. Hey, you waved. Hi. It's time to return you to Section 13, MBU. Nah, I'm good. We're going to stay in Ivan. After all, this is their facility. I'm just borrowing it. What's going on with the people? This will be our final goodbye. From what I know, Section 13 has plans to deploy you somewhere. Exciting. Rest assured, you might feel right at home there. After all, it is. It's what you're made for. All right. That's all we have for goodbyes. Begin separation and nerve compression. Decompression. Nervous decompression. Nervous. Nerves? Nervous. Am I reading that right? I don't think I'm reading that right. Anyway. Sever the connection and bring it back to its pod. No, I want to stay. Ivan's a badass. Oh, what? Hi, are you here to help? How did you? What are you? Oh, I think I like you. Wait, no, come back. Oh. Gunfire galore. Hi, Anomaly. I killed them. All of them. You free. No need to obey them. Give you a new body. Live out your own will. I like Anomaly here. I don't know why I have a, uh, what was it called? Uh, Elvin, Elvin Lee, Elvin Lie with the pink haired girls and the tentacles they have and the invisible tentacles. That's the first thing I saw with all the splatter on the glass. This is yours, but also his. Are you putting me in Albert? Are you putting me in Albert? That's a loud heartbeat. Oh no. Hi? Hi there. Who are you? I want those monitors. Those monitors look nice. Hello. Francis. Hmm. You're home. 